Ontario police found life raft serial number MM47 on Lake Superior's eastern shoreline. They punctured it to make it more portable. Between the floor layers, a single taconite pellet was discovered. It's my guess that this raft was on the stern section of the Fitzgerald, as most of the painter line was missing, and the remainder of line may have been the knotted line found on the rudder of the upside down stern. The pellet was part of the cargo that rained down from the surface as the stern inverted and the midsection came apart. Both the pellet and the raft were coated in what was believed to be Bunker C fuel. Life raft MM13 was found fully inflated by the motor vessel Roger Blau with its ropes and gear bag intact. This would make sense as the bow was the first to plunge and the life raft, located just behind the pilot house on the starboard Texas deck, would have easily flown free. Both life rafts were purchased by Ogle Bay Norton in 1967 and delivered by freighter to Merce Boiler in Toledo where they were installed. Removed each layup due to the harshness of winter, one of the originals MM32 was later replaced by MM47. Shown here inspecting raft MM13 is Warrant Officer William Madigan from the Marine Inspection Office at St. Ignace and Captain Gunnar Nermiste of the Canadian Ministry of Transportation. Lifeboat MM13 was built on May 12, 1967 in Trenton, New Jersey by the Switlick Parachute Company and is currently part of a Fitzgerald display at the National Museum of the Great Lakes. MM32 was returned to Ogilvy Norton in February of 1976 and was likely disposed of as it could not be reinflated. For more on the lifeboats, life rafts, and the history of the Edmund Fitzgerald, see my story on shipwreckpodcast.com. For Wrecknology, I'm Rick Mixter.